So then what? <laughs> Life hacks. <laughs> Good one, Shane. <laughs> We've all seen life hack videos creep their way into our social media feeds, but how many of you actually have done one? Nobody, not a single person ever. None of you, none of you have done them. Not once. So we're gonna take the trouble out of that uh, for you and just go ahead and do them. Some of them we think are already awesome, but others we have our own ideas for what we think would make it a better, easier experience. Yeah, I'm so. pretty excited to test out my inventions here. <laughs> Good one, Shane. I too have inventions that I will be testing out. And I think we're gonna go head to head and see uh, who, uh, who's the best, smartest boy. Damien has drank three cans of cold brew coffee today. He has that's lost his mind. Hey, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a joke. He's lost his mind this morning. I can smell color now. First hack. So the first hack we're doing today is the Oreo cookie hack. Now. The way that they do this on all them life hack videos is just using a sweet, sweet fork to, to make your fingies not so cookie full. Yeah, I've been seeing this one a lot. I haven't tested it out. Uh, I have my own strategy at home that I've used for many years. Take the cookie, you drop it in there, and I let it drown eventually. Hold on one second. There's, oh. There it goes, there it goes, and it's gone. And I let it sit there for a bit, kind of like you know a mafia boss, and I just got rid of a body. Then eventually I just reach, but see this this is where it sucks. You know, you reach in and it's been drowned oh. a little bit and now it's just all, it's all the way through. Your fingies are all milk full. You gotta take oh a full God. on shower. Oh my God, but, but my hand, oh no. You're a drippy boy. But see, here's the life hack that I saw on a social media based video the other day. You take the fork, you chunk it on into the Oreo goo, right on in there, you dip it on down and then you gobble it on up. Mm. What a proper gentleman I am now. All right, so I've got a better idea. Yes. I need a stick, uh -huh. string, cool. and a cocktail pick. Everyone's got those. Uh, all right, so I've got a ruler here. This works mm -hmm. very well. Got string. Okay, hold That's on. That's a nice stick. string. This is a nice string. Where's the end of it, though? <laughs> oh, my dear boy. <laughs> I'm dumb. Come, come now. Here's the beginning. Here's the, where the string starts. Uh, well played, David. <laughs> That's one point for this Damien. This was not board. good. <laughs> you ruined this. We'll, we'll fix it in post. So, all right, so you take the string, you tie it here, we'll we'll do this. Where is he going with this, folks? <laughs> okay, this okay. is good, this is nice, good. Nice, nice. All right, um, now, all right, now we're gonna tie it to the cocktail pick here. All right, now I'll take, take an Oreo. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, boom, boom. Boom, making moves. I see where you're going with this. Okay, hell yeah. Oh! Now see, I can be so far away. Right. I can be so far away. If you away. can't reach your milk. If you can't. <laughs> you ever not reach your milk? Oh, oh look at that! Okay. Look at that! I actually like that! A whole bass comes out of the nose <laughs> and gets it. Whoa! Uh oh, hey! Ah! <laughs> 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 Honestly, I'm down for this hack. So is it more efficient? Hell no. Is it more fun? Marginally. Yeah, absolutely. But if you have your Oreos next to you, mm -hmm. this is how I'm thinking, right? You're on the couch, you've got the plate of Oreos on your lap, but, but your the milk, milk is, is on the coffee is table. way far away. So you just keep on loading it up and throwing it out there and then bringing it back, aha, and then you just throw it back out there. Uh, I feel like I need goggles for that because I feel like I'm gonna get a little on your lip. Um, <laughs> I feel like you're gonna, we're gonna like stab our eyes out and then you dip your eye in milk and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, so what are we deciding? Uh, I, I kind of am still partial to the fork. I think it depends on the situation. Mm. I think fork in most settings, fishing rod, if you already have it built, then it, it, look, you keep using it and you just, you just put it next, you just set it up against a wall. You got it there, you get a rack for it. You buy a rack so you can hang it up. Okay. You know, and then uh, you just pull it out for the necessary occasions when your milk is too far away. 
It's also Don't you good hate for, it when your milk is too far away? <laughs> it's also good for like burglars. Like if it is just above the sofa, like if, if you sit like naked on your sofa like I do and then someone breaks in your house and you just start swinging that while naked, they're done. You're just like, hey! You're like, you're like, Hundred percent wrong house. I'm so sorry. You're so right. Can I, you imagine? I, you 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 break into a house. You're butt naked like this, just like. Look who decided to join me for dinner. Have a seat. You're like I will be going. Hell yeah. That's the best way to ward off a burglar, is as soon as they break and you go, oh, a new friend. <laughs> like, no thanks. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm thinking, man? I think it's time for next, next hack. This next hack is uh, rather simple. Uh, when you're making a sandwich uh, with, with lunch meats, uh, the meat is circular, the bread is rectangular. This creates a problem because you have overhanging meat. You do, you know it's like I mean? you can't eat a sandwich when it's just all dangling on out like that. It's too hard, it doesn't fit in the mouth. Yeah, exactly. You end up getting a big old chunk of meat without any of the other stuff. So, the answer's simple. You take some meat. And this is what we saw in a life hack video. Now, I have my own thoughts on this. And then, uh, so what's, what you do, you just cut through the middle of it, like oh. that. And then boom, here, here you go, look. Look, you do this, you do this, then you do it again. You can even you can even apply this method to your tomato as well. Cause everybody knows tomatoes are a problem. Mm -hmm. Look at this, look at this perfectly. Like all you OCD people out there, Yo. fellow Virgos. <laughs> Uh, look, look at how look at how neat that is. Isn't here's, this great? here's my problem with this. It's all about getting even stuff, quote unquote, but there's still gonna be like layering going on. It's still gonna be kind of awkward when you cut it down the middle. It takes a minute for that like second layer of meat to start. Um, you're like, you're not, it's not as even as you think. Aesthetically, great. Aesthetically, awesome. Just call it a fail. It's, it's okay. Because I have the method that's gonna save your life. Damien, I feel like in uh, off camera, there's been many times where you've been like, I have an idea and it always results in someone getting hurt. <laughs> what are you talking about? What body? All right, so let's... Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the sitch, Rufus. You got your cookie cutter slash bread cutter and you can uh, get this on any like Amazon or like a craft store or something like that. But oh no, it's too big for the meat. It doesn't quite work. Well then here's what we're gonna do, right? You're gonna pick out which kind of Tetris piece you want. You're gonna just focus on that, squaw in the middle. You take it out, you boom, you, you shake it around, you, you jimmy on that, you jimmy on back, and then this stuff, you don't even need. You got your one piece. Now let's take a look at breads, right? So your, your life hack is a product. You're a product. <laughs> All right, you're gonna jimmy this on down, to scooch open that bread. You don't need the rest of it, get it out of here. Boom, perfect Tetris piece. Uh. You got this piece of bread. You're stupid. This piece of meat. <laughs> this piece of bread. Oh, welcome to my party. We got nice little hors d'oeuvres for you. And it's perfect. You it's just, just, your answer is to make a tiny sandwich? It's a tiny sandwich. But look, it doesn't get stuck in your lips or nothing. It's just tiny and small and just fits right in. Little just bits. Little bits. <laughs> so as you can see, my hack is clearly better than Having to cut the meat with a knife? Shame, kids make sandwiches. You can't trust them with a knife. Can't trust anyone with a knife. Least of all, me. So just letting you know. Waka, 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 waka. Waka, waka, waka. Meat kisses. <laughs> and now Next hack. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. on a Friday and you're home alone eating noodles. The normal, a normal Friday. You're eating them dry like this, because that's how people eat mm -hmm. top ramen. I do. Uh, Shout out to Maruchan, the far better brand. But eating it is tough, because oh no, like all this stuff everywhere. Right, so the, so the, the, the true hack, the true hack that we've seen for the video is you, you wind it up, get your noodles, but you're like, ah, there's far too many here. We've gotta cut it on down so it's manageable and fits in your mouth. It's just tiny and tiny and just fits right in. Mm. It works. It works, I like that. It fits! I like it, it's just like, I feel like scissors is weird. And it's also scary and dangerous. So Damn. I have a better hack that will just solve all the problems. I'd uh, like to see you try. Yeah. I would like to see you try. I need uh, a hand mixer. Uh, a knife and some safety goggles. <laughs> it looks way safer. 
<laughs> this What's is up? so much safer, guys. Uh, it's so much safer. Don't try it at home. This life hack is for people who are willing to risk their life for a life hack. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so it's Friday night. Uh -huh. uh, you know, you're hanging out, you're watching anime. Uh, it's time to eat some noodles. Jeez. Okay, here we go. I don't need the knife yet. Oh, I'll good. the knife if this doesn't work out. So then what? <laughs> I, all right, I just need to keep it at, at one. Uh, okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, that was the problem. Come it just needed to be at one. Come here. Come here. Give me the noodles. Give me the noodles. I need the noodles. <laughs> Hold on. You can you can try mine too. All right. Let's, let's see if it yours. helps. Yeah. You know, what? maybe ha and I have a pair of extra hands. There we go. There we go. I got you, dude. Don't worry. Oh! There we go. See? Yeah. See, guys, it works. You know what, Shane? the day, it isn't a. It, there's a way to get noodles into your mouth using this, and that's all that matters. Shane, I gotta say, I gave you a lot of crap for this, and I gotta give credit where credit is due. <laughs> You're truly the smartest uh. man I know. Next hack! <laughs> get a popsicle, but the problem is it the, all the goo drips down onto your hand, and then you got a gooey hand, which I hate. I actually legitimately do not like popsicles and ice cream cones for that reason, because mm. I don't like stuff. I hate sticky hands. Absolutely dread it. So you just, you make a little, uh, like... Incision. Yeah, you just like, just just little like, boop. Boop, you boop, snoop. And then, you then you just you just put it on like this and boop. Look, it's got uh, look at that. It catches all the juice. So and at the end you'll have a little little juice bag. So I can see <laughs> the appeal of the juice bag, but my problem is with that incision, it's not gonna be like a perfectly lined up thing. It is still gonna drip down that little handle and now in more of like a focused way. So I think I can improve on this hack pretty gosh dang easily in a way that's much more efficient by the end of it. And then you're gonna really like this. Okay. Uh, it's really simple, it's all household things. What I'm gonna need is a, a metal file organizer, um, a length of string, a candle, uh, some uh, plastic tubing, a funnel, and a few shot glasses. <laughs> Fuck you, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> so first, you've gotta set up your funnel. It's gonna be easy. So the funnel and the electrical tubing, it's the same size. You can't work with that. So you gotta get some electrical tape for yourself. Boom, easy. So easy. So the, the materials that you have don't even work. All right, so you plop this on here. Yeah, you just plop that You plop that on, that on here, and then you tape it on up. Okay. Boom, here you go. So ain't no liquid getting out of there. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, so this is already, this is for a, eating a popsicle. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know. Yep. All right, oh, there we go, there we go. So we don't even need any of the rest of this. So I'm gonna put this down so you can just see everything. String, you know what, I'm deciding, I don't think we really need it. So now, you get your popsicle, just like this. Stop that, you. Um, you take your C-stand, which you can find in any home in America. <laughs> You scooch this on in there, and then you clamp it on down, right? So yeah. That's, that's that. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's chilling over there. But I know what you're thinking, Damien, it's gonna take so long to melt. Is it, Shane? Because that's why we have our candle. So as this melts, you get a shot full of this. And I'm not gonna lie to you, Shane, it is gonna take like a minute or two <laughs> or six. I feel like it's been so long since we've caught up. How is the family? Earl Grey, wow. The bergamot is just like a smack of bergamot. <laughs> this is tap water, you know it. Can you just yes and me for once in your life? <laughs> 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 oh wait, we 
can't do the music. Mmm, looks pretty good, man. Looks like fun. Looks like fun. This is really good. But it's actually. taking so long and you have You have not really gotten a single drip. It. it has been five minutes. Well, it's because it's frozen. Hold on. Do you want to both yell at it with our hot voices? All right. Uh, oh, it's uh, going. Uh, uh, here we go. Well, oh, 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 oh. So, okay, so the main point is once the popsicle's finally done after like, I'd say like one or two minutes, um, that's when you get a full shot glass. You went through a lot of work to do that, but watch this. Mmm. Knocking back a fine popsicle. I would like another, please. Easy. <laughs> and now it stopped dripping because you have to actively hold. I wanted a different can. I wanted a Bunsen burner. And yes, I asked for a candle, but they should have known I meant Bunsen, Bunsen burner. burner. Let me try your dumb thing that'll never work. It actively worked. I, I know, had man. so much fun. Oh, Matt, you did just enter the room. Uh, do, can I uh, interest you in a shot of Popsicle? Uh, no. <laughs> You're alone. Well, too bad, because it's gonna take you two hours to get it. Not two hours. We've been filming at most for 10 minutes on this segment. This looks like something from Mad Max. Yeah, well, now I'm doing your thing, Shane. You know what? I will admit that although it's not quite as dope as mine, your Darth Maul thing is fine. Each of you lick it, it's safe. God, our director really wants us to both lick something. So let's do it as conservatively as possible. <laughs> Shot glass is ready, did you want some? That's, look at this bullshit. This is not, that's how long, that's how much we got. But look how much work you're doing to do this. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> I am wildly uncomfortable. Well, think goes without saying, we're geniuses. We know life hacks pretty Big well. Big brains. Yeah. Uh, try the Oreo hack or the sandwich hack at home. Do not try the noodle hack. It will kill you. Uh, it's very dangerous and it also doesn't work at all, despite what I thought would happen. But let us know down below what kind of hacks you want to see us try out or improve upon. Yeah. And use the social medias to show us if you end up trying it out yourself, how that ended up going. Yeah. But uh, until then guys, on the way out the door, punch that notification bell and you have a good day. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hey, we hope you guys really enjoyed this new hacking thing that we're trying out. Yeah, please don't attempt my ramen hack or Damien's popsicle hack at home. They're very dangerous. But let us know conceptually which ones you liked better, the ones we found online or the ones we made ourselves. And to watch the most recent Try Not To Laugh, click this box up here. And the video down here was picked out just for you.